And welcome back to Fox Weather Now. We're entering the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, even if that map doesn't look like it. Statistically, September 10th is the peak. That is the day that it's most likely for a named storm to exist anywhere across the basin. Right now, it's quiet. No systems, no areas to watch. Last year, we saw a similar low heading into early September, but then exactly one year ago today, uh, Hurricane Francine formed, sixth named storm of the season, and then it had broken nearly three weeks of silence at that point. So three straight weeks, nothing was happening. A Francine went on to become a Category 2 hurricane before making landfall in Louisiana. And just weeks later, we had back-to-back -back major hurricanes, Helene and Milton. So while it's quiet now, hurricane season is far from over, and history reminds us that things can ramp up quickly. Let's bring in Jason Dunyon. He's a meteorologist at the University of Miami, science director of NOAA's 2025 Hurricane Field Project. Great to have you back with us on Fox Weather. This might be rivaling uh, what I call the great lull of 2024. What do you make of the state of the Atlantic right now with the peak being tomorrow? Always good to be with you. You know, it's it's been striking. It's so quiet right now. And, you know, we've still got half the season ahead of us if you look at tropical cyclone activity. So there's a lot to go still, but things are definitely stifled. And we're trying to look for that smoking gun as to what might be happening. It's not completely obvious, but what we do know is activity is, is below normal. And there's going to have to be a little bit of a catch up if we're going to meet that kind of average season. Yeah, that was the, especially the case last year, right? Because we had all of those seasonal forecasts that were for a, a hyperactive season, had everybody going as we moved into the early part of it. And then that, that lull happened and folks started saying, hey, maybe this is a bust and it was quiet until it wasn't. Uh, you mentioned some of these factors. Last year, we talked a lot about the, the lack of instability across the main development region. It appears as though uh, that may be what we're what we're seeing again through this stretch. Is there any indicator why that might be the case? Yeah, I think you're, you're right on. It's looking more stable out there in the Atlantic. And you can think of it as when the atmosphere is stable, it's almost like a lid. It makes it hard for these thunderstorms and tropical disturbances to really grow. One of the things we're seeing is the pressure out in the Atlantic is higher than usual. So you can almost imagine there's this high pressure sinking air, making the air very stable out there. Not that a system can't overcome that stability, but it's going to have to fight a little bit harder. Yeah, it's like there's a cap, right? If it was a severe weather setup, there's a cap in place, except the cap is over most of the main development region. So it's kind of weird, especially right now with the peak being tomorrow. Even when it's quiet out in the, the main development region, though, we started to see more activity second half of this month last year, closer to home, the homegrown stuff. When we're talking about the Gulf, the northwestern part of the Caribbean. Is there any indicator right now? Is there something that you'll be looking for as we move through the next couple of weeks when we start to see a shift in that direction? Yeah, that's a good question. September to me is always interesting because we're still looking out east toward the hurricane nursery. Right, over half the named storms we get each year are coming from Africa over that nursery. And it's still fast and furious. They're coming off every couple of days. But we're also starting to shift our eyes to the west because we're starting to see more fronts coming down to the Gulf off the southeast coast during the late summer, early fall. And those fronts are notorious for spinning up little disturbances that can become hurricanes. So there are a couple of signs to watch a few of these tropical waves coming off of Africa. So look east. And there is going to be a front kind of hanging around next week uh, that we need to keep our eye on for something a little close to home, uh, as you said. Yeah, there are uh, meteorological investigations that are going to have to happen, uh, both out there in the MDR and closer to home. Uh, we know you'll be watching. We hope to check back in with you. Always great to uh, talk. Uh, that's meteorologist Jason Dunyon from the University of Miami. Thank you.